everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm not gonna spoil it, but this one is bittersweet. We have a crazy long ride ahead of us. And I'm telling you, these fights, they were unexpected, got a little crazy. Um, yeah, more guests, more fighting, more news. Um, but with that being said, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna hit you guys with a little recap for some of the filler that you may have missed while I was playing off, off screen, offline. So without further ado, let's get into the recap. Okay, to start us off, we go deep into the blue forest. Um, I forgot the name of it, if I'm being completely honest, but we meet this little doll. <laughs> used as a subunit under Ayaka to spy on the Tenryu Commission, and she is the cutest character ever. It's Sayu! Not a Tanuki. I'm a Mujina. <sighs> of course, we're skeptical about using her as a spy because she's a narcoleptic, but Yamiko says, trust the process, and we're like, girl, should we? So we meet with Toma and Ayaka back at the Komori Tea House to inform them of the situation and the plan from the depths of hell that will have my head on a spike if this goes terribly wrong. The Shogun never questioned anything about the war and it has to do with the report sent to the Shogun by the Tenryo Commission because they deal with all domestic affairs. If the Vision Hunt Decree didn't pose any threats to her plan, then she would stick to her decision, aka helping Scaramouche's ideal for Inazuma. But this place is heavily guarded, so of course we will need a distraction. And who is better to provide that than our girl Yoimiya, okay? So we plan on setting off some fireworks by the god statue. And of course, poor Toma, you know, he's getting a little restless. My dude's locked up, you know, free my dude, Toma, he didn't do anything. So of course we meet with Yoimiya, and as we all know, she's very passionate about fireworks. And the more she tells us about them, the more scared we tend to get because we realize we can blow ourselves up because we are completely inexperienced. Okay. Okay, so we meet up and we're about to disturb the peace of the Tenryo Commission. And of course, Sayu's like, hey, even though I'm confident in my skills, if I get locked up, please save me. And um, you must not know who's playing the traveler because y'all know me, I will get your girl locked up. Free my girl Sayu. So we set off the fireworks. And of course, it's a race to get back to the Komori Tea House. So we need to basically leave and take off like Batman in the night, which by the way, I failed miserably the first time because I didn't know we were supposed to go through these sonic rings. So yeah, they weren't clear on directions. But but we made it and of course Sayu, our girl, comes in clutch with the documents and Yaimiko was correct. They have been shady and they have been keeping the tea all to themselves without telling the Shogun. But now that gives us the advantage. All right, so of course we head over and sprint to the Grand Narukami Shrine to provide this evidence to Kojusara. And Paimon, of course, in her natural diaper fashion, snitches on us within seconds and says, You have no idea what we had to go through to get this stuff. Like, why would you say that? Anyway, the Tenryo tells the Shogun in a letter that everything with the Vision Hunt Decree is fine and basically everyone's been real chill about it. And Yaimiko wants us to piss her off once more so we can go into the sunken place and have a little teeny tiny chat. But she also gives us a cursed object to use before we die to drag her in with us. Kojusara gets so angry that she goes and talks to the leader of the Tenryo Commission herself. And of course, we're nosy like the Shogun doesn't want our head on a silver platter, so we follow her, but she tells us if we lied, it's our head, you know, the usual threats. I enter the Tenryo Commission headquarters domain because we just love those domain entrances, don't we? <laughs> anyway, we do what we always do best, which is run and set Help the place me. on fire. And clearly, Genshin couldn't handle the fight being over so quickly, but... It is what it is. Kojusara confronts Koji Takayuki and this dude really pulled an Ariana and was like, yeah, I did it. And as we sit in disbelief, he tells us that the Shinazanian diplomats promised a big reward if everything went smoothly with the Vision Hunt Decree. And he thought it would be a great way to get Inazuma back to its height of power as a nation, aka eternity. He feels this is actually helping the Shogun because she's so powerful and that she could turn the tables on Shinazanaya and the Fatui in a second if she really wanted to. But instead of going through another war, why not just create a strong alliance between Shinazanaya and the Fatui and use their resources to gain power instead? Which I kind of admit is really smart, but they can't be trusted, so it's a no. And Kojusara is like, forget all that, you lied to me and betrayed the Shogun, and now she's about to meet with Senora to discuss business, and Kojusara plans on crashing the party. Tell me why. My mic was not on this entire time. I hope you guys got that. 
I try to be focused today and it's, it's not, it's not working out already. Oh, it's okay, Brie. It's fine. We got the clips. That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. We might have to throw this one a part of the recap as well because what the hell was that? <laughs> what was it? Don't know. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that recap. Now, I don't know if I'll always do videos this way, but it's something I wanted to try and kind of cut out all the filler of the Archon quest and get to the really juicy parts and hopefully move along through these arcs a lot quicker so we can hurry up and catch up with everyone and get to Fontaine. And it will allow me to upload videos hopefully a lot sooner without all that filler stuff in there. Even though you still get to see it and sometimes even see my reaction to it, it won't be a full length hour video of just me running around pretty much. Um, yeah, so we're gonna continue this Archon quest. And if you guys do not like it, do not worry about that. We'll just switch back to how things have been going so far. Yep, she's definitely been here. <laughs> oh my God. Dang it, I couldn't hit her. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. <sighs> if I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. You gonna let her... Hey, you better come out. <laughs> have you learned your lesson now? Mm -hmm. Oh no! What has she done to Kujo? Knocked her out just like she did us at the church. That's that's what we look like. The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone, not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, Almighty Shogun. Wait, she's not mad at us right now. I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. I thought you'd like hearing it. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. Okay. Okay. It doesn't help that my camera's getting dark right now. Like, can you not play into her favor for once? Ah. So you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! <sighs> For all who have lost their visions. Right! Stop talking about people and things no one's gonna get her up back there? about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. She is evil. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for in their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. Say something for Venti's Gnosis and for the people of Leeway you have periled. Wow. That's I forgot about history. Venti. You certainly love to hold a grudge. And so do you. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning, they're just necessary sacrifices that's all. Is she serious? Bro. You? Stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, Remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Yet she's standing right there and hasn't done anything yet, so she wants to hear this. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. 
Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? Nope. I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. Okay, she probably has me there. I'm gonna get my stats up, okay? Don't call me out. <laughs> That's not what I said. It. That, that's not what we said. To a duel before the that is not what we said. That is 100% not what we said at all. Proceed. Why would we? <laughs> I literally have like tears in my eyes. I'm like, why would we do such a thing? My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too. Oh boy, all right. <sighs> I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware. That the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? <laughs> Once again, I didn't say it, but if we must, I will. Traveler. I know, Paimon. I know. But a girl gotta do her <laughs> thing. I'm sorry. Then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part. Look at her, she's like six feet. <laughs> She's gonna step on me. <gasps> A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> As you wish. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, stop hitting me in my back, ma'am. Leave me alone. Leave me be. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't move now. Say cheese. Why are we cold? I don't, I don't get it. Why are we cold right now? We didn't. What the? Oh. Where do I warm up at? Do I warm up towards these lamps? It would be nice to know. We're gonna focus. We will go toe to toe in here, woman. Do not play with me. What the hell just happened? Oh, bro, I got so scared. <laughs> Good, cause things were not ending well. Oh, we're not done. I know we're not done. There's no way we're done. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, my gosh. Crimson Witch of Embers. Oh, lovely. Oh, God. Why? Why do they have a second form? Why? I don't. I, I hate it here. We didn't do it. Hurry the hell up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Gosh, she is pissed off today, isn't she? <gasps> yeah, about this. No, no. Lower the difficulty. Why do we always go there with that? Yes! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, we're like right there. I see it. Oh my god, why does it have to be this? I hate when she does this. This is normally where everyone dies. I need one of those. Yes, yes, yes. Give me zero. You don't. No, 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 no. Yes! Come on over here, Mama. Just a few more hits. Go ahead. Yep. Mm-hmm. Woo! So strong. But but how? Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Took like what four tries? Oh no, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! We, we, come on, come on! I am a Snizhnian diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me? I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure. The Fatui will make get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, kill her. This is me running a fade after you did that to me. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that is so satisfying! <laughs> oh my god! Are the enemy of eternity. Uh, no, come on. Come on, come on. We, we ain't gotta do this now. But as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. <sighs> 
Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. I cannot handle that back to back. Absolutely not. That took us three tries. Three. At first it was four. No, three. It was actually three. Oh my God. I died when I had like a sliver like this much left. So I was not having it again. No. Oh my God. Uh huh. What? Uh. I'm not moving, as you can see. Is she walking us off? Senora's dead, bro. That's crazy. One strike from the Shogun and now Senora's gone. She deserved it. <laughs> She deserved, but Paimon still can't help but feel upset. <sighs> Why are they doing it? Why are the harbingers collecting all the no seeds? Hmm? Whoa, whoa. Got a headache? Chin up. Let's get out of this place. Uh, Paimon feels unsettled. What does she do to us? The Misu no Hitachi. Also, when the Shogun executed Senora with the Musu no Hitotachi, it was unbelievably powerful. It seems impossible to defend against. And if so, we've got no hope whatsoever of defeating her in combat. Near Miko's plan. So, to me, Cap, Yai Miko wants us to go back inside the plane of Euthymia by the statue of the omnipresent god. Oh, but we'll be like lambs to the slaughter, won't we? Oh, maybe we could put this plan on hold for a while. Unless we're already in here. I'm not controlling myself. It's so noisy outside. I mean, yeah, that thunder will do it. Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Why does she act like she can't see where we are right now? Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? Is this what it looks like inside my head? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Yo! What? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. What? Did he go in and st- <gasps> I am shook it. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Be in here. No. <laughs> Don't want to be in here. Can we talk, please? Without you doing some wild stuff. So we meet again. I don't wanna No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. <laughs> I'm actually begging, like, come on, chill out. Can we can I get a minute? A breather. <laughs> 
This is not the team I had in mind for you. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? They hopped in even though we were leaving, so in a way, shouldn't they be in here instead of me? But, you know, I digress. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? I'm tired of people calling me foolhardy. Okay? The Fatui have deceived the Ryan Shogun. The Vision Hunt decree should never have existed. Uh, I feel like if, you know, they don't matter. Why? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt decree. So she did know everything and just didn't care? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. It comes at a great cost to the people of Venezuela. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. Wow. Says the person who has an individual ambition herself, but okay. What you might not realize is that all too often, People have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Mm. Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. Because I'm not from here. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you to put it another way you are the furthest thing from eternity so i won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions what matters is that i tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf is it created by your consciousness yeah that's right I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? I'm not here to debate your ideas. We're definitely not. I mean, we are, but kind of not, because we just went through a lot. My head hurts. <laughs> hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity time for you to No, what does that mean? What does that mean? Can I go back and Oh. Oh. Excessive yearning leads to inevitable destruction. Okay, we remember this. We remember this. Kind of. Okay, good. We can leave and not have to start this all over again. I What the hell? Was that? Oh, what the hell? Are you dead serious right now? Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? <gasps> Miko, oh. this was your doing? No, she no. was gonna show up. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Look, this is not the time for that, okay? I was gonna Though try my you best. you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because I was not doing very well at all. Uh, who is that? The Vision Hunt decree. You think that's gonna help? That just pissed her off even more. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, hey, 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 hey. All right, hey, hey. I'm like running because I don't know what to do at this point. She's so fast. Here, just hold that shield for me, will you? So I figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Because <laughs> there's stuff raining from the sky now. This was not in the training program at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've lost, eh? Oh my god, I had to cut my leg back on and everything. We did it! The lucky works! Oh, since I had mostly, like, a lot of health from all all of my characters. I was like, screw it. Let's just use the alts and get it over with with that little tiny sliver left. We did it. Okay. <sighs> I was doing absolutely terrible that battle. I was. I, I, I'm okay with that though because we got it done. Like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Okay. <laughs> Why are you tired? I'm, I'm the one that should be out of breath. I mean, I am a little to be honest because that was tense. Oh. Yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people, and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. They can surpass the gods' expectations and even take over the work of the gods. Ah, oh, God, who cares anymore? Just Is let them keep them, please! Is you learned from your journey in Liyue? There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward? So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? Maybe. You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the oh, only God, way. Oh, God, again. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. Ah, she behave yourself right now. My name means shadow. Ooh. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. Whoa. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. That looks like it could be like her mother or something. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and okay, noble honey, form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. So I'm guessing it was a great battle and they lost. Like, big loss. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm Ooh. concerned. Maybe we shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay, one second. I gotta let Ashley out. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. Okay. When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma oh God, forever and ever. Star. You know what? <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change, it does nothing more than simply 
didn't exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Oh. Miko, retract your words. Maybe we should. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. I mean, but they're losing lives either way because of this, so... <sighs> Does it really matter if you give it back to them? But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <sighs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Deeply isolated. Jeez, that's what it will get you, honestly. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Mm. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean... That you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I feel like because she's done this for so long, like, even if she wanted to give it up, she'd be like, like, both sides would be like, oh my god, we did this basically for no reason. And now even if she, like, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, even if she wanted to give this up now, it's like, we've come too far. There we go. Those are the words. I... I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? <laughs> As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <sighs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Mm. Anyway, isn't that how all great Now that I have start? been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt decree. Bro. But with regards to eternity and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> You are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. <laughs> As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished wow. the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Oh my god, my card would be full right now. Whoa! Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds. Wow. To bring victory. It's so beautiful. 
to inspire hope. Finally, he's free! <laughs> But some ambitions no. outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Does this about to make me cry? It better not. Burning bright and true for all eternity. Let's blink now. Oh! <gasps> Oh. Okay, we're back. Oh. oh, it went anyway. Okay, um, so what did you guys do in the Raiden Shogun's plane of Euthymia? The vision and decree abolished? It was all thanks to Gay Miko. Oh, gotcha. Paimon was super worried, you know. And oh. So maybe the reason Yai Miko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Dude, we did it! Good to go! I'm so excited. Wait, where is she? Higher? Are there stairs around here? Oh. What's going on? Why, hello. If it isn't the triumphant traveler. Hey. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> Paimon has no chill. <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. I mean, of course, she's got her friend back. Um, You know, people have their visions back. I'm in a pretty good mood, too, so... After mm -hmm. all that... Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. Makeup and white pants is a dangerous combination. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. It was a spur of the moment thing. It definitely was. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. Thanks. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. <clears throat> they caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? Uh -oh. As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Yeah. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. What? W what's wrong? I handed that over. Who? <laughs> you did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? Oh no, 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 you did not. You did not. Why would you do such? Why? We should have just fought him instead. The Balladeer exactly is number speechless. six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Me too, Paimon. Me too. After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me, and I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Whoa. Thus, the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain, exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> <sighs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. 
No wonder we haven't seen the Belladeer since. Yep. Well, what's done is done. And Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it back Let's then. not. Let's leave the past in the past. Shall we? Um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. You're welcome. You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? Really? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the event. Just like Fenty! And just like Jolie, too, like he to answered our, our questions too. <gasps> I'm actually kind of sad this is the end. Uh, I mean, of course, we still have tons more to go, but I mean, it's the end of this. Oh. It's bittersweet. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, about the Shogun puppet. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Hmm. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three riding shoguns? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Uh, sorry. <laughs> is, is she talking about, um... Scaramouche? As an... Ordinary human male, and he's the one that went with the Fatui. Or is it? No, it can't be child because he's from Shneznaya. Oh, this is getting so good. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. And that's why he's more powerful than Senora and Child. What? Well, and Child? Duh. Okay. So it is. It's got to be him. Yeah. Mm hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession. Oh, that's of right. Oh my God. Okay. And the prototype puppet is now known as. The Balladeer. I love how my brain just goes ping, 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 ping. <laughs> what the? What a crazy story! That's insane. It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? And about the show again? That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Wait, didn't we just do this? Still. There is one other thing on this before A began modifying her own godly form. We just did so, this. You mean there are three? No. My fault, y'all. The, the original plan was Oops. later this puppet. Yes, yes, yes. Some yes, eccentric yes, geniuses in the ranks. Mm hmm. I got confused for a second. It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence? Okay, about the former I'm one. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Ball and Beelzebul. I don't like that name. <laughs> twin gods? They won the Archon War together. And when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. 
In other words, she acted as Ball's body double. So, Beelzebul was the one that died, and that was the greatest loss that she was talking about because they were twin gods. Ellen Ball established the Shogunate. A shadow warrior. <laughs> so that's why she's considered the the puppet. It's basically just her shell since it looks exact since they're twins, you know, you wouldn't notice. And that's why they said like, oh, there's subtle differences. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Elzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Ball's name was Makoto. So A and Makoto. is the one that wait what I'm still recording <laughs> so A is the one that is still alive and Makoto is the one that's like the shell. Right? Because A is technically alive because our consciousness is in there. That or it's reversed. Y'all will let me know in the comments. You always do. <laughs> as far as the world was aware... I'm on the right track, I think, though. One. They complemented each other. And they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. Hmm. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Okay, so I was right. Okay. I got confused. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. Hmm. And that's the... That makes... And Conria! Yup. That was when A began to change. Makoto that's was her crazy. greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Mm. Wow. About my brother. Sorry, I haven't a clue. No one does. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. <gasps> but if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, yeah, she doesn't. but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Having met her, I don't believe she was the one. Yep, not at all. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? <laughs> yep. I already fought, fought one of y'all, or two, in this case. You. Enough is enough. Three! That I... <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your brother's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. Mm. Okay, about the next stop of my journey. After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey oh so far. God. Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. 
but their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Yeah. Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? What do you mean there by that? It was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko. Oh my Wise gosh. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler. What is your ambition? To be reunited with my brother, I guess. He don't really like us right now, so do we really? I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Something bigger than you. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. <gasps> and that's why A was like, there's so much uncertainty. That's why she's able to hold all visions because she doesn't have a single ambition. Oh, <gasps> my brain, my, my brain. <laughs> My brain can't handle this. Oh my god. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. <laughs> and we Wait, what is this? Uh -oh. I don't think I meant to click that. What's going on? <laughs> Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. And Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Catherine. Thank you for completing today's commission. I've missed you, Here's darling. Ah, Traveler. Right on cue. <laughs> hey, Catherine. Got any new commissions for us today? Um, also, how come you look so happy to see us? What have you done? <laughs> I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. The shrine maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. <laughs> Catherine? Drawing fortune slips at the shrine? Uh, is it just Paimon or is that the most unusual thing ever? Wait, no, that's not the unusual part. We're in Lila. You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? She got back here before us. <laughs> Even I have a private life, you know. I bet you do, Catherine. You're freaking me out. Okay, so when you say unexpected reunion, you mean running into us, right? Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I cross paths with today. Fair enough. Even though we see each other pretty much every day, whatever makes you happy. I'm fine, <laughs> Just say thank you. <laughs> Wait, are you saying? Oh, Paimon gets it. Well, let's just hope the shrine maiden was right. Fingers crossed we find him. I'm sorry. Did I say something I shouldn't have? Aw, her brother. You both seem a little down. Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, back to business. Do you have a new commission you want to give to us? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a miner. It seems to be related to investigating the chasm. Really? 
Does this mean the chasm's not sealed off anymore? I believe I've been down there already to do a few, uh, commissions. I will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details. His name is Yue Hui, and he should be at the chasm right now. All right, then. Thanks, Catherine! We'll head there right away! Very well. Ad Astra, Abyssosk. Hmm. This time you are truly bound for the Abyss. Good luck to you both. I don't like the way you said that. She said it like it was going to be the last time. Requiem of the Echoing Decks. Oh, that doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> We're not going there yet. We will though. Wait, actually. Hey, everybody. Oh, this is a little emotional. Okay, we are finally done with the Inazuma arc. It's It was a beautiful time. Oh, it's actually quite emotional. <laughs> Now that I think about it, it's kind of sad, but it's, it's like bittersweet. It really is. Um, this was a fun time, a fun little episode. I'm so happy that we got it done, that it's finished. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little recap that I shoved in there um, to kind of get some of the filler out of the way. And this still might be a long episode anyway, but those fights were so hard but like the, the overall episode like i'm just so happy it was it was awesome the cutscenes were amazing uh, as usual of course i'm left speechless and it was just good like i don't i wouldn't say this one is my favorite just yet but it's it's up there like that was actually very good we got a lot of information we saw a lot of characters like a lot of people got introduced so much was so uncovered in this one my brain is still just like like i'm trying to process it all and it's it's still hitting me but thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me all the way to the end we finished in Azuma. <laughs> So please make sure to like and give this a thumbs up, please, as well as subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you guys are always notified when I'm making new content and to head on over to Instagram. I made a new one, so go and follow that one. I will put it down somewhere in these corners, somewhere. And also to head on over to the Discord, come join the party. You know, come roast me, have fun, you know, talk to everyone. I will be there as well. Can't wait to meet you guys. And I will see you guys in Subaru, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs>